The Thai Valley is flooded. Uh, the fog is cleared now and we can see through the fog and the clouds. This is what we see through the volcano. This lava lining toward the, uh, the meridian, middle valley, as, a, as I call it, meridian. Then let me change it toward the Natai to the south. Let, let's, let's have a zoom out first. And uh, sorry, sometimes it's a little bit jerky, the movement. So I have to use the mouse for this. Okay, I'm turning it toward the Natai valley. That's the toward the left I'm turning the camera. So you will be able to see it. I try to go as slowly as possible. That's not Thai Valley. You see the corner of it now. It's flooded practically. I zoom on it now so you can see actually have a better view. Yes. Oh, it's the wrong place now. I have to turn it a little bit toward the left again. Yes, that's that's on a spot. Okay. You can see several floods you can see that have been uh, happening there. I can count one, two, three, four, five, six. Six big floods has actually came down to the Natai Valley and they're spread <clears throat> like a fan-shaped uh, um, spread cone of uh, sediments. Now let me go back to the volcano. I would turn it toward the right. I try to do it slowly so we don't get a headache. Uh, I turn it now, you can see the big stream of the lava is flowing from uh, volcano toward the Natai Valley. Two smaller stream to the near the center of it, you can see that they're also going from the uh, Gildedingedali Valley and toward the Natai from that road which, which we have built our berms, the walls. And this is amazing view. It has been extremely active and there is also some uh, I can see some uh, uh, flood actually, the lava flooding toward the Meridali Valley, a little bit toward the north also. It was hyperactive tonight. This is the only view we had so far for the last two days.